see the youngster going for, for that shot. <laughs> Buckley who boxed for the Chester Amateur Boxing Club. Lost in the opening bout of the 2005 ABAs as a featherweight. One of the problems fighters at this stage of their career seem to have is just pacing it. These tend to be quite intense, these little four-rounders. Yes, they've got to put an awful lot into each round, haven't they? Keep the pace pretty high. He's shown some, some good moves, Buckley. I like that little step to the side. He's thinking when he's in there. Another good right through the middle there from Buckley. McQuaid is looking to bustle him up, break his rhythm. His defence just leaving a little to be desired, though, and Buckley just picking holes in him, and he's got a nice repertoire about him, Kevin Buckley. You can see why the people of Chester are getting a little excited about him. There picks the, the uppercut out. Thinking about which shots he's going to use. Changing them round. Now, both rounds, I think, so far, too, Kevin Buckley, quite beyond dispute. Did some uh, eye-catching work Listen, in that I'm round. Okay. You all right? Uh -huh. yeah. Get that jab working. Push him back with triple jabs, Kev. Push him back with triple jabs. Then dip over to the sides. And when you dip it over the side, make sure you keep your right hand up. OK, because you're dropping it. Don't let him see you drop it, OK? a very close relationship between trainer and fighter. Good rapport. Nice little shot there. Just picked the, the head up with the, the uppercut. It's shown more of his variety with the, the left hook to the body. Seems pretty relaxed in there. Kevin so, Buckley. Straight down Good the work. Right, more, more left hooks and a little bit of work to the body tone. Doing well, mate. Just Ian Pauly. With uh, Tony McQuaid, whose cousin's also a pro. So far, McQuaid's wins have come against Carl Griffiths and Sean Walton. He did lose to Leroy Smedley. That was at the Savoy. Things like that shouldn't happen to you at the Savoy. It's supposed to be all posh and you have uh, nice meals and everything. Orange trunks, remember, Tony McQuaid. Not the first uh, fighter to ever use the baby face nickname. He hasn't got assassin on the end of it, though, like Marco Antonio Barrera. He's got a little way to go to get like that. Now, quite a long way, I think. <laughs> but then, so of the uh, rest of the fight fraternity, or most of them. This is the third round of four, remember. Buckley showing quite a good repertoire, mixing it up quite nicely. And McQuaid onto the back foot here. He's been hurt and he's looking to take some cover. Yes, he's backing up. One of those shots got through. It's very hard to defend against when you get the punches to the head, the body, they're coming in from all angles as they do from Buckley. High work rate as well, and intensity. Promising, definitely. Yes, he just stopped McQuaid his tracks again there. McQuaid trying to get punches off, trying to land that right hand. But at this point, Buckley just seems to have a little too much for the youngster. I think the style of McQuaid's quite made for him as well, isn't it? He's coming in at him in straight lines, and he's just outboxing it. McQuaid's having his successes here and there. Well, he's game and he's trying hard, McQuaid. But technically, Buckley just looks a little superior. He's wasting one or two there, Buckley. Maybe that's the first sign of tiredness. But his defence is better than McQuaid's as well. Mr. 
sign in here, really, with the intensity of this four-rounder. Just how hard you have to work to get any win in professional boxing.